1970. So the big blonde boy, the British heavyweight, Hope Joe Bugner, faces Chuck Wepner, the 16 stone American from Bayonne, New Jersey. Bugner, 15 stone, five, conceding nine pounds to this giant American who has a record of cutting extremely easily. In fact, he uh, says that he's had something like 60 stitches putting cuts in his face since he turned professional. And certainly at least four of his fights in which he's been beaten inside the distance have been lost because of facial injury. Joe Bugner back in the ring after a four months rest, although it wasn't much of a rest because he went to the United States and there he sparred with Cassius Clay and Joe Frazier, the current heavyweight champion of the world, with Sonny Liston, the former heavyweight champion, and Jimmy Ellis, another former champion. So Bugner has been picking up some experience in the States against the greats of world heavyweight boxing of today. And we're watching tonight to see how much improved he may or may not be after that trip. Webner, 29 years old, taller even than the very tall Bugner. Bugner's six foot three and a half, and Webner is six five. Bugner saw this man fight in Jersey City in June. Webner's last fight against Sonny Liston, the former heavyweight champion of the world. And Wepner was beaten in the ninth round, and when he was stopped, he had six cuts on his face. His left eye was shut, and both eyes had cuts over them, and the doctor refused to let Wepner come out for the tenth. Bugner very uncharacteristically so early in the fight opening up against this big man. Bugner tends to feel his way into a fight rather slowly. Bugner is putting some pretty heavy stuff through to the face of Webner. And his left eye already, the American's left eye, is beginning to look rather marked. And that's a good start by Bugner there against Webner. A really confident and aggressive start by Joe Bugner, quite unlike some of his recent fights. He's been criticized quite a lot in the last few months, most of this year in fact, for the way he's won fights, not being aggressive enough. But uh, he's certainly looking as though he's making amends tonight. A really good brisk start by Bugner in this fight against Chuck Wepner from New Jersey. So with Bugner the winner of the first round quite clearly and already having marked Wepner's face particularly down the left side move to the second round of the scheduled 10-rounder, which is only the second 10-rounder that Bugner's been asked to fight. His first was against Brian London a few months ago. A new confidence about Bugner. Well, the sparring with Cassius Clay and Joe Frazier has given him a little bit of confidence for himself, I don't know, but he looks to me to be altogether more confident than he has been in recent fights. Webner has 
been in with George Foreman, the latest uh, heavyweight hope in America. And he's been in with Buster Mathis, a former hope, and was stopped in three rounds by both of them, again on cuts. So we can do a little bit of comparison of Joe Bugner with both Foreman and Mathis.